Richard Southern is back for our interesting stories chat and we start with a Toronto street that just gained a little extra cred, Richard. So neat, Tina. Welcome to the interesting stories report, by the so way. So excited. Glad you're here. <laughs> Ossington has been named one of the coolest streets in the entire world. Wow. A publication called Time Out puts out this list every year, uh, Tina. And this time around, they named the West End Thoroughfare Ossington Avenue as the 14th coolest street in the world. The publication highlighted Ossington's bustling restaurants, live music, and vintage shopping. Uh, it said the stretch of Ossington between Dundas and Queen West has always something going on nearly every night of the week and serves as the, quote, kind of nights out that call for leather jackets, not heels. Wow. Most coolest street in the entire world, Rue Wellington in Montreal, followed by Gertrude Street in Melbourne, Australia, and Great Western Road in Glasgow. Would you agree with this? Is Ossington cool, Tina? I mean, it's pretty cool. I used to live right by Ossington, and me and my girlfriends used to go out there all the time. I guess it's still cool. I don't go there anymore because you I live so far. You say used to. You just had a baby, right? Yeah, so. yeah it's not really family <laughs> friendly there, you know. <laughs> but it is an awesome, you know, there is a lot going on. I, it seems I like every, surprised. every new every new exciting restaurant that opens is on Ossington. Yeah, you know? a lot. I, I don't know. I'm an East End girl now. I don't know what's going on in the West End anymore. So <laughs> I'm sure it's still cool, but... Tina doesn't go west of Bloor Street anymore. It I doesn't can't. happen. Now West's that the Gardner great. ramp is gone, I can't. <laughs> All right. Well, TikTok has taken the internet by storm, and some believe that's not such a good thing, Richard. Analysts at Bernstein Research say TikTok, they say, is like cocaine and is perhaps ruining the internet. No. Uh, they say the algorithm that pushes the most viral content directly into your brain delivers an endorphin hit similar to the illicit drug cocaine. And they say it might be ruining the internet because people are spending so much time on TikTok and others are trying to emulate it. Facebook has its reels, which is very similar. Even Amazon is rumored to be coming out with a, uh, a new format where you kind of flip through products. Um, the, the analysts say the addictiveness is very uh, much uh, prevalent, so much so that TikTok's generating now 16% of all ad dollars on the internet. Are you hooked on TikTok? Yeah. Um, once I once I go on the app, like hours will go by, and and you know when I look at my screen time on my iPhone, TikTok's always at the top. It's just one interesting video after the other. Like they really know what they're doing. I don't know. How about you? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a time suck. You know what's bad when you get, they give you a warning every now and again, like, hey, it's time to cool <laughs> out and not look at so many videos. I need to, shameless, yeah, I need shameless, to that shameless plug, though, City News has a TikTok yes, account, so check do. it out. They have quite a few followers, too. Yeah. All right, now a beauty pageant contestant has made history for showing her true self, Richard. Love this story. Uh, the Miss uh, Britain uh, pageant uh, currently ongoing over in the UK. And this finalist, Melissa Rayoff, a 20-year-old, 20, uh, 20 has made it to the finals. She has not been wearing any makeup during the pageant and is the first contestant in the history of the pageant to do so. She's now going to compete in the finals in October for the crown. She says, quote, if one is happy in their own skin, we should not be made to cover up our face with makeup. Our flaws make us who we are, and that's what makes every individual unique. I'm not a big fan of pageants, but I love that story, don't you, Tina? Yeah, I love that. Uh, you know, she's gorgeous without it. She doesn't need it. Um, yeah. And wow, the confidence of going in front of a worldwide audience without makeup. That's really... I was going to say, as much as I love that story, I'm still going to wear my MAC photo-ready powder because I don't need to <laughs> shine and glisten on TV. There's you know? so much makeup on right now. You have no idea. <laughs> and the it's MAC powder, scene. too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, have a great weekend, Richard. We'll talk to you again on Monday. Have a great weekend.